Hi guys. Well, we're back at the sawmill. I gotta figure out about where I'm at so I can look you in the eye. I gotta have my head above the saw blade and be sitting right on that bolt. Anyhow, I think it's up and running. Don't know what this part is there. Oh, I know what it is. Anyhow, I think it's up and running. Don't know. I still have to put a lot together and clean up a ton of stuff. So I'm going to go over a few of the things I did. This is going to be a two-parter tonight. So I'm going to put this one on, and then I'm going to put on, to, if I can, I'm going to get that log off the mill and put another log on the mill, just, just a test log, just to see what's going on. So let me show you some of the stuff that happened. You, everybody knew the saddle broke, um, which was just, just the way it happened. So this had to be... At that point, then everything down here got changed because this was just a little bit different height, so I had to put some shims in down here. That's showing a big, big thing on the screen there. Yes, there is. Well, you guys know I can't edit, so you're going to have to watch me clean your nose. I think that's better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyhow, so all this had to be changed. Well, to do that, well, this broke, this was at a little different height, so it had to be shimmed up. In order to get all this out and not take the blade off, I had to undo this at the, at the two collars and slide that collar over. Um, because that wasn't quite right either. It was just, it just wasn't right. Anyhow, so here's where we're at now. This is, oh, I'm balancing up here the best I can. This is the machinist level. I don't know if you guys can see that, that bubble inside there, but I don't think you're going to get much closer than that. Um, up here didn't have to be changed. Now I've already set the lead and I've set it at 330 seconds. That's the lead that I want. Um, I had to take all the steps out because some people told me that I had to put belt guards on here so I couldn't take all that down. I guess I could have um, to get to the bolts underneath there. So I was getting to bolts under, underneath there that hooks that and bolts underneath there to hook that and I could I could have gotten those from that side, but I didn't. Anyhow, this this pull this uh, shaft. Well, this is this is a pretty cruddy, pretty gnarly shaft. So I I know it's not level because I've already checked it, but it's not hateful. What you got to do is bring if if you never use the machinist level, you bring this up till it's that, and then you kind of settle it down. I am one, two, three, three lines off, which is fifteen thousandths at a foot so this being three foot long it's 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 45 thousands down there I just don't feel like bringing it up because when I bring that one up then this one goes down and I got it I had to put there's over three inches three inch pile of shims under here three eighths inch pile of shims under there so you're in rubber bushings this is a coupler it's it's for making up a little bit so I don't think those few thousands of an inch are going to really hurt me now one thing I do think is the um, my big pulley inside there, which is, I don't know, I would take you over there. It ain't easy getting over here now. I've got to put my steps back in. Um, I think one of my problems is that pulley's out of balance. Just another problem. Um, it didn't mind 600 or whatever. I forget what I was running before I was running this RPM. I'm running 670 right now and it doesn't like it, it shakes and uh, we're going to start it up in a minute and let you let you do. I also had to loosen those things. Um, redo the lead. The lead is I got too much. Whoa, I got way too much play in that, don't I? Well, we'll, we'll adjust that before I saw a log, but we'll we'll play with it running a little bit. Um, trying to think what else. Ain't too much going else going on. I got 10 tons of stuff to clean up. So I want to get that up before I get a log on. Oh, somebody said something about the shims use off front end shims off a car. Um, front end shims are about the size of these right here. And it's a little bit small. You want a um, full bearing. What I put on the back over there was a was a a full bearing shim so it it supports it all the way and this one here has big sheets that I made there's a couple couple shims that are this big no nah, wrong ones if you have a sawmill you better have a lot of shims that's a this is a this is a good shim here so I always save shims 
and I'd recommend that if you have a saw now you can make shims I think this one that one looks nah I don't know whether that's homemade or not they kind of match that but I've made a lot of them I guarantee you that and you can buy buy shims too this is eighth of an inch but we're talking um you know just a few thousandths of an inch back there to bring that up and it's just right now I th where's my straight edge I don't have a straight edge oh I see it um oh remember when I was I was putting that can you see that line on there when I was putting this on here to see about where it was lined up at you can see it it kind of eats that line by a little bit let's see what it does on this side now because I've run it as it probably has to get resettled in see it it eats a line only by a hair if you can see that see that it's probably by an eighth of an inch but on this side over here it's I don't know it's not much more than an eighth of an inch down there either and then up here uh, I gotta turn around this way so you can see uh, where did that line go it's it's more than the, more than an eighth of an inch there there it is Nah, it's not much more so it's fairly it's straight enough for th for this thing here because this this back shaft is just kind of a stub shaft but that's kind of why I like running that drive shaft on that other mill and this mill as you recall was a mill that I got and I didn't know what I was doing and I put it together and it, it's run for many years and it's sold a lot of good wood but as I I don't know as I got older maybe or wiser or I knew what I wanted and and I guess got wiser maybe it'd be the so I you know I knew I wanted a carriage that didn't have uh, the Hyatt bearings or Babbitt bearings in and I didn't I wanted adjustable racks adjustable racks oh there was another thing I was saying let me jump over this in the Frick book in the Frick parts book and I was going to bring it out and show it to you this is called an L okay they call it an L so I wasn't totally crazy so you can call them knees or L's it's just like submarine sandwiches you go to a different place and everybody's got their own name for them but Frick does call them L E L L and you can buy them but you better have a big bank account anyhow let's see we'll go fire it up I'm gonna walk around remember I put all that uh, that uh, telephone pole mulch in here and boy that's made it a lot less muddy which is good because we've had nothing but rain we got rain coming in the next few days again we had rain yesterday um, let's see if this thing will start do you remember how to start it no we'll check the oil we haven't checked the oil in a while I need to get a longer dipstick the oil keeps it keeps getting lower and lower and if I had a longer dipstick it would hit it uh, let's see we press this button here then we try to activate the alternator it's not working. Now I gotta walk around. I don't have my steps. Oh, I'm, I gotta show you something. Sure would be nice. All right. 
right, here's something that I got to show you guys that uh, for all you old timers that have been around here for a lot, you guys know that everybody hassles me about climbing over that shaft. And I've been hassled to death. And I kept saying I, I had a guard over it. And I don't think anybody really believed me. But look what I found when I took that off of there. That thing is so full of mud. That was the guard that used to be over there. So yeah, I did have one. I don't know how that went over there, but uh, I think it must have gone. Well, it won't go on because of uh, because of my uh, guard over the belts. I tripped over this thing so many times that it it caught flight and flew. I think I tripped over it after about the third time. So I do have a guard for over that shaft. Am I going to put it on? Well, what do you guys think? Ah, it fits real nice right here. Maybe someday, maybe the next person that owns this mill will want to put that on. That's up to them. This one ain't getting it. Um, anyhow, I am going to put all this together, put some of the tools away. I don't want to get carried away because you know, guys, I'm a mess pot. I'm going to try to get that big log over there off the deck and get the a little log on the deck just kind of a will it work log willy wonk it log uh, and there they are they um I, I did a video on metal detecting them but i never put it on i might put it on now that i'm going to saw it because i got this one this one that one and i got the 17 footer on the big mill so i want to don't have any place to put the wood don't know what i'm going to do with the wood it goes back to why i don't cut wood but i'm just kind of anxious to cut a little wood I, it, it it's not good having a sawmill down so that's that's where we're at guys i'm going to put it back together put everything pretty much away put a log on the mill and then hopefully, if the weather's still hanging in there, have you guys back and, and at least get a couple saws off the log. And then I might have to do some adjustments. Like I said, that uh, there was too much gap in, that, uh, in those guides up there. So I'll have to change that a little bit and a couple other little things. So I'm glad you came along and been putting up with all the nonsense and the lack of saw and all that stuff. But I hope to be sawing. So watch for another video tonight. Okay, this one is going to definitely go on first. I put a couple shorts on, I think, this morning. I put my shorts on this morning. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. They were polka dotted. Anyhow, um, we'll see you later. Glad you stopped by. Please send it to a friend. Hit the like button, subscribe button, send it to a friend. Leave a comment if you like. Um, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.